Oh no! My palette's on fire! Anyway... Hello guys and welcome to a model building live stream. Uh, we're not going to paint today, we're just going to build some very cool models. We have some Corsairs here that uh, Games Workshop very kindly sent me. I'm really thankful for that. And we're going to build uh, a couple of models, uh, well, as many as I can get. I'm not a fast builder, but we will get through that. Uh, and I want you to help me decide what models, I, what options I will be using. This is the the Nakmund uh, pamphlet, and you can see it here. It's very thick. You can build a lot of uh, scenery and a lot of models. <coughs> it's a very lovely kit. It's my first kill team box, by the way. Uh, this is all the uh, chaos, the war, the chaos warriors stuff. Uh, Marcus is asking, are the chaos warriors the same as in the existing box? Yes, with an upgrade sprue. You have the same models, and you get one extra sprue, which will get you all the new options. So, yeah, pretty much the same. You can see it here. You have. Uh, the existing kit, which is this three spruce plus the extra sprue down there. There you go. Hope you can see that. There you go. Good afternoon to everyone. We have 26 people now watching. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, and we are going to build some Corsairs, which I'm really excited about. They're, it's a beautiful kit. And here we are. This is the start one. So, uh, as I said, I want you to uh, help me decide on the options. I don't really care. I don't play the game. I don't uh, plan on playing, but I want you to help me uh, decide uh, which way I build him. So, uh, a couple of limitations. Obviously, we don't have these bits here because, well, I use them for my um, aerial conversion that you... I'm, I'm guessing you all have seen, haven't you? <laughs> oh, I'm going to, I'm going to build the, the Void Ninja, of course. But um, why don't, okay, why don't we start with the Void Ninja uh, lady? What is she? Okay. So I'm going to go through all of this, so you can see all the options. It seems like they are just some random basic dudes. And what is the Void Ninja lady? Oh, here it is. Okay, so it's with this option. It's the option 22 DAD. So why don't we build her first? Because it seems like it's a good option. So. C75 and C76. Let's see if I find them fast enough. Oh, 75 is here. Perfect. By the way, again, if you want to see some any of these sprues up close or any of the options up close, just, just let me know in the chat and I will uh, be more than uh, glad, more than Glad to do that for you. I'm just cutting off uh, pieces for the first model. I'm going to, I'm going to build the ninja because come, I mean, come on, <laughs> it's the coolest model of them all. Uh, 77 and 78. Also, which one do you want me to see uh, painting for the channel? Do you want me to see the? Do you want to see the the ninja or do you want to see other one?
Oh, he's asking, please remind me what camera you're using. This is the Canon M50 uh, Mark One, and because there's a Mark II now, and if you're going to buy it, buy the Mark II, please. Uh, it's just a little bit better. And I'm using the 18 to um, 150 millimeter uh, lens, which is a lovely zoom lens, so you can see all the things up close and the focus is super fast. It's a fantastic uh, piece of kit. <clears throat> Marcus Meyer wants to see me paint the bird guy. I think it's a good idea, actually. I'm impressed by the amount of bits you get. Yeah, this is this is a, a, actually quite a stunning kit. I'm, this is, yeah, I, I I really like it. I mean, I always say the same, but say what you want about GW, but they actually make the best plastic kits in the market by a long by a long shot. It's not it's not even close. It might take a while to find the other leg, but we will do it. There are a lot of pieces here. I still remember when the spruce were like a third of what you get in, in one of these spruce. It was just on. <laughs> I don't know. I am, I am very old. But I still remember my first multi-part plastic kit it was the Empire um, Soldiers for, one, for Warhammer Fantasy. And that kit was revolutionary and if you see it now you will see you will you'll probably think what a piece of shit <laughs> it's just uh times move so fast so so fast oh <laughs> I'm an idiot. Thank you. There we have it. I think we can start cleaning parts and gluing bits. The, my only issue with these models is that you are going to have a lot of hidden spaces here. I want to see you paint all the elder, very crisp parts. I remember the old metal grave god was where the days. Yeah, I do remember all of the versions of the Metal Grave God, but there were a few of them, actually. I think a couple of, of, of Metal Grave God kits. Well, kits, blisters kits. <laughs> Those didn't have any options. Those were just what, what, what you got. You got three poses for your whole unit. <laughs> you probably needed 30 or 40, uh, well, pro probably 30, uh, in the later editions, uh, probably you could get away with twenty in the normal in the well, six sixth edition, and and yeah, you got three different poses plus the command group, and that was it. And people are complaining now. Oh crap! People are complaining now uh, because well, you cannot put the arm slightly up or down or the leg slightly twisted or whatever. I mean, like, stop complaining. It's, these models are just so much better than the than the old ones. Also, metal models. I just hate metal models. I know a lot of people have a lot of nostalgia for them, but that's literally all all there is. No, it's just no, nostalgia playing with you. They were shit. The worst material to make models of. Literally the worst. Just there's nothing good about it. Well, if you like the weight, that's a plus, I guess. <laughs> but that's that's basically it. And everyone's going to <laughs> click away of the stream now, I guess. Eh? Because people have a lot of strong feelings about metal models. I do. I hate them. I have to deal with them because I like middle hammer minis and middle hammer models. So I have to deal with metal all the time, but I, I still hate them. I say this unironically before, but if I could get all my models that I have for my Bretonian army in fine cast, I actually would. <laughs> because I, I don't like metal models. And I have no issues with fine cast. Fine cast is perfectly fine. <clears throat> At least the newer, uh, the, the latest uh, version of, of fine cast.
of course. Uh, interesting question. Do you have a roadmap or planned uh, queue for the next 510 model to be painted for YouTube? I, have a, I do have one, but I cannot. I, I can't really speak of what I'm going to do, but I have at least the next model, the next two models are already, or three models are already uh, d uh, base coated. I'm going to, this is not going to be the next one, but I'm going to do uh, Mogan Ra, I'm going to paint Ariel, and that's, those are the ones that I can talk about. The next, I, uh, actually the next model I'm going to, the next video I'm going to put out, I cannot really tell you what, what, it, what it is, sorry. I, I can't speak about that. Um, and I have another uh, secret project, which I cannot talk about either. So, sorry. So yeah, you will, you will probably have to wait. And now that I, uh, DW is, is sending me kits, uh, I can't, I won't be able to tell you what's planned uh, in advance probably. So yeah. That's, that's the only inconvenience. I, I get all the new stuff uh, before anyone else, but I cannot tell you in advance that it's coming because that's how NDAs work. And I'm not complaining, I don't really care. So, surprise. <laughs> it's going to be a surprise, but uh, knowing the, the GW roadmap will probably give you a good idea of what's to come. But there would there will be a lot of Eldar in the near future of the channel, and I'm happy for it because it's my favorite models. Oh, I also have this guy. I almost forget about it. I almost I also have this guy. Look at this guy. Isn't he happy? He seems so happy to be a Chaos Marine. <laughs> this is a very fun conversion. Um, just the arm here to looking like so much uh, funnier. Um, uh, I took out the horn because I thought it was a bit ridiculous. And I'm going to paint this too, but I, it's not going to be a tutorial, it's just going to be like me painting this uh, mini kind of video. So it's, it's, it's not going to be a step by step, I'm just going to paint it, I'm going to record it, and I'm just going to have fun. So yeah, look at that. Isn't he happy? <laughs> I love that. <clears throat> Sorry, I really love that face. I mean, like that—that that face is just amazing. So I had to build one. I promise I was never going to uh, paint another um, a space marine for the channel, but I'm going to because that face is too good not to use, and it's going to be funny because uh, it's kind of a meme. So I can make a fun uh, thumbnail. I can make a fun title, and I can have some fun. So yeah, that's 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 always good. Oh, we have our glues here, Tamiya extra thin and normal Tamiya. Oh god, I remember trying to build a metal Sheen's Greeter Demon. Uh, that bastard wouldn't stay together, yeah. Especially back when we were kids. Oh, it's a fucking motorcycle. Um, uh, back when, when we were kids, um, we didn't know about pinning. I didn't know about, about, about pinning. And I have... I have a full forest dragon in pieces to prove it. <laughs> It fall. That's that's not the best way of doing it. Well, this will hold it together, but that was that wasn't the 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 most ideal way to do this. Yeah, not ideal at all. Oh, <laughs> of course, I was doing it in the wrong direction. Of course. Okay, my bad. Sorry, GW. That was that was all right, I guess. There you go. Oh, now it's all out of focus. Sorry, guys. 
Um, that's also an interesting change. What happened? The DW finally sent you boxes. Well, they got in contact with me and they are now sending me boxes. And that's as much as I can um, say. Sorry. But yeah, I got a very nice email. Uh, I was chatting with uh, one of them uh, through a... Um, I think it was a Zoom call or whatever, you know. Um, we were talking for half an hour. Um, and yeah, it was pretty nice. They were super nice. Uh, and yeah, uh, people say, I have I had a lot of comments saying, but isn't the NDA too bad? I cannot tell you how it is, obviously, because it's part of the NDA. But I can tell you I'm more than happy signing that. So yeah. Yeah, that's what I don't like about these models. It's just you have to glue them together because otherwise, who's going to uh, clean all those gaps? And yeah, that's a bit inc that's a bit inconvenient to paint. Hey, focus, focus. There you go. Uh, what cost, Leon? Are you going to uh, what uh, thing you will be going for? Oh, I I know. I don't think I know I'm going to go for Emperor's Children, but pre-heresy or heresy uh, color scheme. So the purple with the gold. I'm really, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Just because I found a contrast recipe for purple that works, and I, I just, I just, I just want to showcase it. Uh, if you've seen the Drasar video, because I, I'm sure all of you have seen it, despite I have. Um, Almost 55,000 subscribers and only about 7,000 views on that video. I, I just don't get it. My, my subscribers don't watch my videos. It's just the weirdest thing in the world. You always expect, oh, I have 50,000 subscribers. I will get 50,000 views on that video. No, <laughs> no. I wish. But you don't want to watch all my videos, which I totally uh, get, by, by the way. I'm just... And just having fun. And thank you, Jay Carrick. That's uh, really appreciated. There was a nasty seam here at the uh, side of here. I'm trying to press it down to see if I can fill it, but I would probably have to take some putty out and, and do it with with some milliput, I'm guessing, yeah. But yeah, very nice. Nice model, nice pose. And let's get the weapons. Uh, I think I would glue her to the uh, base now. So you got, with that body, you have three options. And I think this is obviously the coolest one. By a long shot too. These are also cool, but I mean, you kind of have to be building this. I have no idea how to play the game. I have the books because obviously they, they also send me, well, it was a book included, of course. And um, they also send me the other book. I, I don't know. It's like kill team, whatever. I, I don't, I don't play. But yeah, I will probably read them through just, just to see how much worse than dead Sony's. Sorry, GW. <laughs> Let's get the other pieces. SC83. Uh, Should be in this sprue, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. Dale, have you been able to play any Kings of War recently? It's a fun game, but hard to find players around me. Sadly, no, we have a group. I should have been able to, but due to COVID, my uh, my son and my wife are extremely... Um, are um, risk uh, cases, so I'm, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's just a game. I, I really miss it, but at the end of the day, it's just a game, and my my family's health is uh, above everything else. So, no, I haven't been able to play, sadly, but, you know, doesn't really matter. 
I make a lot of I make videos, so that's also <laughs> taking a lot of time. But yeah, I have all my three armies here, just by my side in my uh, phone boxes. Seems like it's not here. Let's see if we can find the ninja head. Oh, there you go. Oops, there you go. And I have to find the two daggers. Okay, that's one for sure, yeah. That's 85, that's one, and the other is 86. 85. But yeah, uh, I probably will paint the bird guy for the, for the channel, just because he has everything. 85 and 87. That or one of the psychers, or the you know, or the lady sell the selling gemstones. That's that's also a fun one. There you go, it's six. Um, Pastoral, you can ask whatever you want. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm more than happy to answer questions. Consider this a p. Uh, a PAB a special <laughs> because why not really okay I think I have all the pieces okay nice uh, just wondering how much water is in left in your bronze when you feather the paint out as little as possible I uh, if, you've, if you've seen the how to thin paint video, you know I, uh, I I do exactly what I do there. I clean my brush, in like well cleaned in into my into my pot of water. I put it into my mouth. I suck off the excess water, and that's what I use. Literally, that you don't want a lot of water. If you use too much water, you are going to uh, ruin everything. You just want to use that uh, extra moisture there to to make everything smooth. Oh, 58 people. Welcome, everyone. Pineapple pizza or not? Yes, of course. Look, the only thing I actually like pineapple in my in my pizza. That's one of my staples. When I order in pizza, I always put pineapple in it because I really like it. But even if I didn't, who the hell? Who the hell cares? Like, it's not your pizza. You don't have to eat it. So let people enjoy the pizza. The only, the only bad pizza, is a pizza you're not eating. So, yeah, eat your pizzas and be happy. <laughs> yeah, super cool. That's badass. I really like that. Happy to help. That's why I'm here for. That's why I started this channel to help people. Yeah, this kind of has to go in one position. There's only one way this hooded head can go. A little bit of extra thin. And yeah, pretty cool. Uh, Daffy DD. Pineapple plus spicy sausage is goat. Uh, the richness and spiciness gets cut through the sweetness acidity of the pineapple. Yeah, uh, sweet fruits complement spicy foods really well. That's something people need to understand. Also, they cut through um, very greasy foods, especially pineapple, which is, has a little bit of acidity. It's used to cut through through uh, meat and greasy food pretty well too. Fantastic. Meat plus uh, sweet is a great combination. Especially with with uh, pork. Uh, fruit goes very well with, with pork. Also with duck, by the way. I don't mind talking about food. So if you want to ask questions, ask questions about whatever you want. I like to cook.
when will you take world domination? Well, as soon as GW hires me to do so. If they hire me to take the wall, I, I'm more than happy. If they if they pay well enough, which I'm not sure they, they will. I'm most definitely not going to glue this down. <laughs> That's for sure. I will keep it separate because otherwise this is already too complicated. But yeah, just reaching into that, all oh, that's going to be a mess. Uh, anyway, I probably should have, shouldn't have glued her into the base, but it's already done. So I'm not going to. I may cut her off later on, but not now. Let's keep this live stream as PG as possible. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon, Pointy Paints. Welcome. Check Pointy Paints channel. He makes great videos. I was actually planning for a um, for a video where I uh, recommended some channels, but I I just can't get the the script well. It's just uh, that's not my style of videos, and and I don't feel comfortable doing it. I tried. Um, I have all the script down. I'm just I don't know I don't know it's a complicated video for me to make just 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 because adjusting the the tone of it it's complicated yeah I, don't know. I may do it one day if I don't have anything else to do but for now I I, I just kind of postponed it um, I have again. I, I put a lot of effort to have all the uh, B-roll from the like, clips from videos from those channels and uh, you know all that. Oh, that's breaking. Ooh. I you don't think you can see it, but the dagger. Let's see, if you can see that. I don't think you can. Well, the dagger is actually breaking. There you go. Is breaking at this point here uh, it's it's cracking yeah that's that that's a weak point if I if I if I've ever seen one but it's now clean so I'm going to glue it down and then I'm going to try to fix it with a little bit of the um, super thin glue so it bonds to itself basically Whoa. Put a little bit of that glue there, so it uh, gets into the crack and kind of bonds it to itself. Let's see if that works. It will leave her on the side, not touch her for a little bit. Do you ever find time to play uh, 40k kill team, or is this more about having? Cool I don't play 40k or kill team. I don't like those uh, those games. Sorry, GW. Please, him, please keep sending me stuff. <laughs> I, I really don't like them uh, as games. I really love the models, though. I play or used to play uh, Dead Zone and uh, Kings of War. That's the games that I like. Fantastic rule sets. The new minis are okay. The old minis are unbearable. You really like to love the game to use some of the old uh, PVC minis. I have some because I really love the game, but it wasn't a pleasant painting or hobby experience. But the new resin and the new plastics, pretty good. The resins, uh, top notch. The plastics, well, like GW in the early 2000s, more or less. So, so you get the the idea. So not not bad, just not, uh, yeah. GW now, but who is like GW now? GW basically. But yeah, I don't play uh, any uh, Games Workshop games. Oops. 
Oh, it's up, it's up onto her face. Like that. Okay. Sorry about that. That was a delicate operation. Just to finish her off. Yeah, uh, <laughs> point to paint saying, uh, just happy that GW is, is at last sending your stuff. I look forward to seeing your work in the community post. Yeah, they they they, they took a while. We uh, I've I've talked that uh, this with with point to paints a lot because we we usually. Uh, talk th uh, through the Facebook m uh, messenger for for a very long while now it's like one of my uh, hobby pen pals just <laughs> so to say and and we've talked about this for a very long time like why isn't GW sending you stuff well they are now but they they really took a while considering I'm bigger than most of that a lot of people that uh, that they were sending stuff not 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 saying that those people don't deserve the uh, stuff or the recognition of course they do but just like i've sent you six emails or uh, there weren't six but like four emails and you never answer me not not even answer me so it's it's good to finally uh, get an answer at least it's great that it's a positive answer, of course. This is complicated to glue down. That should do it. And of course I got some onto the... This. Ah. Well. Pain will fix anything. There you go. First one painted. Oh, uh, painted. No. Uh, if it were that easy. First one built. Let's just put her here so everyone can see it. Hope your relationship works better now, uh, out better than Midwinter Minis one. Uh, what what happened with them? Can you, anyone explain me? What's the uh, problem with Midwinter Minis and uh, Games Workshop in terms of uh, collaboration with uh, models and so on? I would be interested in hearing that. I'm, I'm just completely out of the hobby, like, um, YouTube sphere of, of hobbyists. Like, I, I really don't know <laughs> anything about it, sorry. So... Yeah, thank you, Point Paints. Uh, also, I ha I'm very lucky they have uh, some lovely Patreons, and they also send a lot of emails, uh, which was amazing. I wasn't expecting it, and and they did, and and yeah. Uh, after that, I, I think it was it was just after that campaign that they got in contact with me. So I'm guessing that they finally decided that uh, just even if it's just to stop in the emails coming, <laughs> it will just send me stuff, which I'm really grateful. They are very nice people. Whatever you might have heard, they are very nice people and they do just want to uh, collaborate with the, with the content creators and, and, and treat them well. At least they are doing with, with me. Oh, this is the feather guy. Awesome. Yeah, makes sense. That the feather guy is the one that has the bird. And it's 49 now. It's 49 now. It's 49 the same sprue or isn't? Probably isn't, knowing GW. Don't see it here. Let's see if it's here. 
Doesn't seem to be. Maybe I'm missing something. Sorry, I'm going to put my phone into. There you go. It's silence mode. 49. Here it is. I was missing it completely. There you go. Uh, Midwinter broken his NDA or something, not really sure as I don't follow him. I think it was generally that they were very slow in sending him stuff and the videos that he would make with the mini GW send me didn't do so well. I don't believe uh, this was related to the NDA stuff. Uh, it was a lot of like, mini comes out one week and they will only get the minis to him a week beforehand to paint and make a video. Yeah, but that's about how it, how it works. It's just you have about a week. Uh, yeah, that's that's why I don't have any Corsairs done. Uh, I only could make the aerial con conversion. I have, uh, well, that's that's just how it how it works. It's just that you need to be fast. You want to put it uh, stuff uh, out by the uh, uh, embargo that the day that the uh, embargo lifts. It's not easy. Let's just say it's it's really not 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 easy. Have a week, a week and a half, more or less. It's not that bad. I mean, I don't really care, but yeah, that's just how it works. And considering the videos weren't doing so well, even after that, the juice wasn't worth the squeeze for him. Yeah, probably. I mean, I really get it. If you are making content and those videos don't do well, uh, it takes a lot of effort to make a video. Uh, and. I think, oh, I'm 100% I'm sure he is now living off of his channel, so he needs the, uh, to get the numbers in. I'm, I totally get it. I don't, I don't really care. I just want to make cool content. I don't care about the views. I don't care about the subscribers. I don't care about how much money I make, which is absolutely ridiculous considering the amount of work I'm putting in, but again, I don't really care. I just want to make some cool stuff and, and make videos that I want to see. Uh, even if, well, they will never perform as well as others just because the the theme and the style of videos is not like, you know, as easy to watch as other videos. Not saying worse or better, just not as easy to watch, which is true. That's how things are, just the, the reality of it. Midwinter was also a bit upset that they were only sending uh, Blackstone Fortress stuff, if I remember correctly, anyway. Well, you know. I can't comment on that without breaking my NDA, so I'm not going to comment on that. But I will only say I was given options when they contacted me. And they were very flexible, so whatever, I don't know. Again, I don't know. <laughs> and and uh, of course, if it doesn't work, it just doesn't work. So whatever. It, you, you don't have to get the latest uh, kits just to, just to make content. You can make content with whatever you want. And it's going to be good content if you put the the time and the passion in it, so whatever. If it's more a uh, problem than it is um, worth, just don't do it. And again, I totally, uh, I totally get for the people that need those numbers to, to eat, basically. They just... Is you just need to pull in the views, and and if the views aren't coming, well, you just stop doing that. Let me grab. One of my smooshing brushes. I like to clean 
the little bits of plastic that get hung out when you scrape them and i i usually just blow on them but with 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 the microphone there i don't want to make some unpleasant noises or well you know have this be mistaken for an samr video please i don't really want all those people like ugh. That's creepy videos. Sorry if you like a ASMR videos. I just find them creepy and disturbing. Okay, this was nice. Grimgar, uh, point of it. Well said. I stopped being a member after that. As, uh, Grimgar is answering to point of it that said, um, "Imagine getting se sent free stuff that a lot of people fail to get due to the amount of stock, then being upset about it." Well, again, I, I took the, uh, the decision of uh, quite a while ago not to comment on any other content creator stuff. Uh, because it, it never works out. We, each people have different reasons to do stuff, um, and yeah, they are people after all. So I'm not I'm not going to comment on that just, just because it it's it's always a bad idea. <laughs> it's always a bad idea. So I'm not going to say anything. But but that's what Pointy Paint said about that. Okay, that's a weird fit. Oh, Christian is here. It's a friend of mine from my Kings of War group. If you were asking who I play Kings of War with, well, he's one of them. We have actually quite a big league here of Kings of War. It's it's quite big here. And I think it's growing, actually, which is awesome. But again, I'm sadly not taking part anymore. Not, not because I don't like it, as I said, it's just due to the whole situation until everything gets a little bit milder I'm going to take no risks I'm running out of the Tamiya extra thing I'm going to have to buy another pot it's starting to get hard to get uh, enough glue into the brush even with the um, extending uh, the brass trick, you know that you can extend this bit outwards if you uh, if it doesn't reach the glue anymore. By the way, that's something that is not not, not uh, you don't get uh, you don't see everywhere said, but yes, you can do that, and it's designed so you can reach to the very last drops of the pot. There you go. That's a very cool pose. Going to glue him to his base. It's always a bad idea. That's being safe and smart. Yeah, it's always a bad idea when you comment on other people's uh, business. It's just, it's just not, it's just not a great idea. I've, I've, I've done it a couple of times out of, out of uh, stupidity. And first of all, they weren't fair comments. I maybe may have been angry about but for whatever reason just maybe just had a bad day and and you are you know it just it just never works out it's 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 it's, it's always a mess and and then you and then you end up being like thinking yeah it was a bit of it was a bit of an idiot <laughs> so yeah I mean like you know it's 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 people's businesses it's their uh, is their uh, their way of 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 
18, so I'm not, I'm not, I will never say anything again about anyone, just because it just makes no sense. That's fair, as uh, the face of your product channel is not worth the hassle of getting involved in others' drama, yeah, exactly. That's another point. Christian said, I almost win the tournament. <laughs> One out of three wins. That's not almost win, that's almost getting last. <laughs> Uh, but that, that is an improvement over your uh, usual results, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, is there much conversion potential for this guy aside from what you saw in your video today? Um, do they seem like you could swap the arms poses around a little hassle? Yes, I think you could swap the arms and poses around for sure. Uh, for sure, but um, it's like like most of the GW latest kits. If you want to change the, like the poses of the guy, then of, of of the guys, you're going to be finding yourself cutting and um, and green stuffing quite a lot. But I I do think you can change the poses easily. Now let's see if we have the bird guy here. Shall we do the mask face for him? It's this one. I think. It's I think we should hand it has a little feather there. Let me see if you can focus on the feather, focus on the feather. There you go. That's a feather that I think it's it's just appropriate. I'm going to use it. Looks like a falconer, so I think it's it's only appropriate that we do that. Okay. Ah, oh, we also need part 14 for him. Okay. That's one of the fins on the back. I almost missed that. Uh, part 14, 14, 14. They are all the same. I think you can. I, th I think it doesn't matter which thing you use. Does it have socket? No, it's just a normal socket. I kind of want to find part 14 now just because I was looking for it. <laughs> so my OCDs won't basically kill me, but. I don't think it matters. So I'm just missing one, basically. Ah, oh, and now I, I, I... 148. Maybe I will just use that. Yeah, I don't think that. I think that's just a. Gen that's not the part code. It's just a generic one. But um, I kind of want to do something. Should I use the leader one? No, I'm going to save the leader for the leader one. Yeah, I'm going to just. I'm just going to get this one, which has a little tassel on the back, so I can break it. OMG WTF BBQ says, I love you, Juan. Thank you for continuing your videos on Crusade. Happy to help. If they support the game, I will keep making videos. I love those minis. Painting them is such a joy. And I was so happy when they told me that they were going to uh, re release the game. That was awesome. I started, I, I, I basically took out the ogre and base coated it this that same day <laughs> when I when I when I got that email that was awesome and yeah compared to painting something like Drassar which took ages uh, and then it's not performing very well but I, again I don't I don't really care but yeah it's a bit frustrating I guess uh, painting uh, like that that took ages to do and um, Compared to that, the ogre was a third of the time that I took to paint Drossar. Yeah, about 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 that. So, yeah, and it's it's such a beautiful mini. It's such a joy. There you go. That's done. Let's glue that into the back. Oops. Drop of glue. That's my part.
Irae Maybeer says uh, in Spanish uh, that he loves these minis. Yeah, they are pretty amazing. I really like them. I was... The whole new Elder range is just so good. <laughs> just so good. It was well worth the wait. And I love the middle hammer minis. I love the old hammer minis. I have a lot of them in my collection. That doesn't mean... Uh, uh, that that you love the old stuff doesn't mean that you cannot love the new ones. And those new minis, these new minis are just so beautiful. This is a beautiful kit. I'm probably going to build them all, the, the 10 of them. I don't know if I will paint them all, but I'm going to build them for sure, just because I, I just love the, the minis. And if, I, if I'm ever going to use, or if I'm ever going to play Kill Team, it's probably going to be with this. <laughs> Until we get a, like a proper, a different Elder box. But it, it was always going to be Elder, wasn't it? I have no idea about the Tamiya application uh, trick. Thanks, happy to help. Look at it. I will just show it to you. Look at it. You can just put them out. You have two positions, like fully down, or you can whoop, or you can just put it in the second position and get more glue out. Pretty cool, huh? That was that. That is a that is that is a neat trick because. Uh, Otherwise, you can't reach to the very uh, bottom. I also um, got said, uh, got tipped another trick, which is that this stuff, the the chemical that that that's inside, is exactly the same chemical as in the Tamiya airbrush cleaner. Exactly the same, in the same um, purity or in the same ratio with uh, with whatever it is. It's exactly the same product. And it's much cheaper. So what people do, what um, old school modelers do, is buy the Tamiya airbrush thinner, or airbrush cleaner, sorry, airbrush cleaner, and fill these bottles with them. So I think that's that. That is going to. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm probably going to uh, buy a bottle of that and try it out and see if it's true or if it's not true. That's what I've heard. And kind of makes sense, I guess. I don't know. Let's him put him looking towards the birdie. And now we need the parts of the bird and his hand. So let me just turn the page here. Uh, how is the Janden Farshir coming along, by the way? Uh, it's it's not coming along. Uh, this. That's an extremely intensive um, project, and with those kinds of things, I really just want to take my time. So I'm not going to paint him unless I'm feeling like painting him. And now I have, and I'm not, I'm not feeling it right now. I'm, and I'm not burned out or something. It's just that it's such an intensive project that I, I really want to take my time with it. But it's, I'm, I'm going to finish it. For sure, I just, oh, I just need to find the inspiration, basically. But one day I will just pick it up and, and, and keep on painting him. So I have the birdie now. What's the fifty-nine? Is the arm? Let's see if we can find the arm. So many arms. So many arms. Fifty-five. Is that one? That's a fifty-five or fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. But. I don't know. It, it 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 also has tassels, but it's not that one. Okay, it seems like it's. I can't see it in this sprue. Might be here, so, but we will we will we will see. Oh, hi, Tyrannosaur! That's awesome. Welcome, Tyrannosaur. I really missed your videos. Uh, just so you know. Arak saying, Hola Juan, I love your Space Marine painting series. Do you think you will continue the series with new videos? No, there won't be. There will be just one more Space Marine painting video. I just announced it um, a little bit uh, ago. Uh, that will be with that funny Mimi, uh, Mimi Marine that I just built. 
and and that will be the last one i don't want to paint more marines i want to paint all the stuff there are a lot of races and i i, I just want to move on and do other stuff She just wore using a sword. Yeah, he is just using a sword. Okay. That sword is sword number 51. There's no swords in here. Let me see if I can find the sword and I will just clean everything up. 51. There you go. That's it. 51. Sorry if it's someone sometimes a bit awkward because the spruce get in the way and the camera has just has that much space and my arms and my hands can only twist so much. Christian is saying we miss you there, yeah. I miss you too. A point and I rolled your salamander dice. Um, I have some special dice that I that I made for one of my armies. This is the the Lissomens that I used there as, as salamanders and I made some custom dices for them and you know what I hated those dices so much <laughs> that I, but I have spent all that money and I just decided to just uh, give them away so if you play against me you will get the dice and if you win you will get another dice and that's just how it goes uh, because I just want, I, I just, I just, I just thought it would be a, a waste not to use them in some way. I thought the Drosser video was really good. Thank you very much. Even though I'm not planning to paint that many, there are many cool little painting tips in it. Yeah, uh, but my main issue that I have is that uh, people just see Drosser and, and 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 most people just go, ah, I'm not going to paint that many, not interested. So they don't watch the video, and that's a bit of an issue. But again, I don't care. Enough people watch my videos and support me on Patreon. By the way, I love all of my Patreons so much um, that um, that I can not make a living out of this, but win enough money that I'm uh, able to complement my business and, and feed my family and be happy. So yeah, pretty much. I'm. That's all I want. I, I'm not an ambitious person i don't want like all the views i'm not willing to do anything for the views that's why i don't do clickbait except for the uh, like obviously parody clickbait uh, thumbnails that i do s sometimes just because i think it's hilarious but some people just don't get it and think that i'm doing clickbait i mean, like read the title mate it's just it's so obviously ridiculous that you cannot really think that I'm uh, doing clickbait. Like, read <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So uh, that happened with the first one, and so I made the second one even more ridiculous. So no one could probably think that I was uh, honestly clickbaiting anyone. But anyway, I could have uh, rig rolled you all with the paints video, the paints name. But I know I uh, just. I always deliver. If, if if I say I'm going to read all my paints names, I'm going to read all my paints names. That was a ridiculous video to film. It was so much time. It was three hours of my of my life, plus the editing, which was another three or four hours. <laughs> it was a very long video to make. Not as long as one of the painting, but yeah, that was pretty pretty long. Oh, that's true. It's a media airbrush cleaner and extra thin glue are the same according to their material safety data sheets. They are just acetone and embutyl acetate with the same ratio. Yes, that's what that that's what people say. Uh, that they are the same. That they, they they found those papers and they are the same thing. So yeah, I'm going to. I'm not. I'm not going to buy this anymore. I'm going to buy the airbrush cleaner. It's the same thing and it's cheaper and it comes in a bigger bottle. So I'm just going to buy that. And just fill it in. I have that convenient brush and everything, so yeah. Uh, I know you are not painting big models for your YouTube channel, but what was your biggest model you painted so far? Uh, my biggest model is probably one that I'm painting now, <laughs> but I can't. I 
I can I can't tell you what it is. Sorry. But if you want to see my palette, just go to the very beginning of this video and you will be able to see my palette. And I'm painting a very large model now. Where's the soul now? Oh, hello, Lan Lana Steel 240. Hello, Juan. Hello. Steve, I have built models for 30 years, painted minis on and off the last 20, and I have yet to paint the Space Marine. I mean, they are. They are cool models to paint, especially I didn't like the traitor ones so much, just because all of the trim is just pain in the ass. But the the normal space marines, the primary space marines, such a good, so so good to paint. So they, those minis are just a true delight to paint, and I say this with all honesty. They are such good models to paint, especially if you are, uh, want to learn something. Just grab a space marine and have a box that I'm using just to test stuff or to, you know, I just build one and just test stuff in it. It's the ideal models to uh, to learn how to paint or learn a new technique. I use them to learn uh, NMM, I use them to learn to uh, improve my, my edge highlighting, you know, all that stuff. If, if I want to try a new technique, I, I I just grab a Space Marine and try it there. It's just so good. It's a fantastic canvas. Stormcasts are also fantastic canvas, by the way. That's why they are they are uh, intentionally designed to be good canvases for painters and easy to paint but hard to master. That's 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 the that's that's why they how they are designed. They are designed to be the perfect first mini and the perfect mini if you want to uh, show yourself. So it's 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 a bit of a genius pieces of design. Those two people don't really recognize GW as much for their uh, amazing design. It will be hard to win against you, but may, uh, may try. Don't cry if I get double sixes with dice at the nerf test. Yeah. I don't mind double sixes as much as I hate double ones. If you get a double ones in Kings of War, you are in a bad position. <laughs> you, you are in a very bad position. Uh, just, it's such a pain in the ass. And, and, and yeah. It just it just it just happens. I don't mind double sixes. I can I can live with that if my opponent gets a double six in the in the nerve roll. But if I get a double one, that's 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 just a problem. I hate that. Sometimes a bit of humor goes a long way. I chuckle at the title. Yeah, I mean, uh, when you're trying to teach someone anything, if you approach it with humor, especially if you start with a joke and you make them laugh at the very beginning, then every anything you will say afterwards just gets into their heads better. It's just how it works. So I, I always like to start with a joke and then move onwards with that because it's just a very good way of doing things. Starts with a joke, uh, have some fun, and then try to do some education. This is going to be fiddly. Let's hope that it doesn't just fall off the arm. Oh, 
oh yeah, that, that is going to be a problem. Um, I will leave this to dry and, and I will attach the bird <laughs> afterwards. Oh crap, the focus, focus on me. There you go. Uh, this is not going to work right now, so I, I, I will leave this for later. <laughs> Yeah, so the clean, yeah, uh, for Tamiya paints, the airbrush cleaner and the extra thin cement are exactly the same product. On flames, big model, I think you can make an educated guess. Well, that's all you're going to get. You're only going to get a guess. Okay, let's see what we what we build next. How we build the the lady selling gemstones? I think we should build the lady selling gemstones. I think we should build the lady selling gemstones. That's a good idea. A new base. Let's look for new parts. Uh, we need legs, sixty four and sixty three. comments there for a bit. I can't do two things at once. Um, that's like number four and that's like number three. No, that's not it. Should be here. We need 64 and 63. 64 is here. Yeah. Found them. All the way around. 64. I get there are reasons why this is it, but I really hate when the parts are not like one next to the other. Just, <sighs> but again, I I know there are reasons for that. It's six to three. Yeah, I think that's the thing. There is a lot of um, third-party models that just don't appeal to me in the same way GW or other big company stuff works. I totally agree. I third third-party stuff doesn't do anything for me. Uh, I'm I'm not saying they are bad models. I'm just saying it doesn't do anything for me. It's just I just prefer the real deal. Um, they all just seems even if they are very cool sculpts, very cool models. And now that you can, that with the uh, with the through the printer space, there are a ton of people doing it because it's just so easy. You don't have to sell anything. You don't have to um, produce or anything. You just sell the 3D files with a subscription model, and it works very well for a lot of people. I'm really happy for them. That's fantastic. The more people doing this, the better. It makes for a better product uh, because there is competition and there is, you know. All that kind of stuff. That's always good, but I just—they just don't say anything to me. I just, and also I hate working with 3D printed models. I hate it. I have 3D printers. I have a lot of them, and I, I just don't like the models when they come out of 3D printer. There's plastic is so much better, especially if it's this quality. So much better. <laughs> E.g. Necrons with breast. <coughs> <coughs> oh god, that almost killed me. <laughs> yeah, like... Well, that's, that's a whole other topic. That's a whole other topic. All the thirsty people out there. Just go and get a girlfriend. Or, or you know, there are web pages for that. <laughs> that that will be... That will, that will do you much better than a big titty necron come on a 
And if you look hard enough, I'm sure you will find something that that you like there. <laughs> You're going forward to the painting tutorials. Awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to paint one of them. I will paint at least one of them just because they're super cool and I all already know um, what the recipe is going to be for the whole thing. So it's pretty easy for the armor especially, which is it was a bit of a problem. But this is going to be similar to the Drusser model, just with a different um, highlights basically. But it's going to be similar in, because it's, it's basically the only way to get a very dark um, color or armor with with contrast spaces to do several layers of different products. Wargame exclusive are too easy to make fun of. Most of their model designs are what if Warhammer faction had huge padonkers? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Are there coming more videos for the Spirit City? Yes, I answered that already. There are more videos coming. I just don't know when. You will have to wait. Uh, as I said before, I only paint, that's a very labor intensive and mentally challenging model to paint and I will only do it when I feel like it, that's that's just how it works for me. If, I, if I'm forced to do something, I'm not going to do it, so uh, it's going to come, but it's going to, you will have to wait a little bit. But I, I promise I'm not going to leave that project undone, okay, I need to find that but ah, there you go. So many parts, it's easy to miss any. They have some cool models though, like the Genius Star Limo. Yeah, I mean, all third party companies, they make some cool models, obviously. Like, pretty, they, they make cool stuff. It's just that some other stuff is just ridiculous. I also personally, uh, don't like like i mean ip is something that is really hard to to make up your own so uh those people are just essentially just copying what gw does in a different way it's like you are skipping most of the hard work which is coming up with what you want to make but i'm i mean again there is a market for that so if there is a market for that i'm happy with people selling it i'm that's all i'm all i'm going to say that's what the free market is for. Just if someone wants to buy it, good for them. Fantastic. Yeah, okay, I'm going to take all the parts. All the parts. Where are the other gems? Mm -mm. So hard to find pieces. Ah, I need that sword. For sure, 74. Yeah, 74. I need this sword. Two for her. That's also a pretty cool model. I like the gemstone lady. And here's the other one. The gemstone merchant. I think I have... Oh, I have... I need an, 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 an arm. A arm. I need a... Arm seventy two. Seventy two doesn't seem to be here. <laughs> Mayor Master is here, and he is just hilarious. Um, I will leave that for the Spanish viewers to only. But he knows I love him. 72, where is 72? Seventy-two. Here it is. Awesome. Okay, let's build this lady up. That's some modeling, cleaning, and, and, and so on.
Oh, Mark, I just bought some cheap pizza Hawaii. Yeah, best. Well, it's not the best pizza. I don't like the Hawaiian. I like to put more crap onto it. And I don't know if it's the same in other parts of the world, but here in Spain, we like pizza with a lot of stuff in it. Like two, two, two ingredient pizza is like pff, unthinkable here. Like, what's, what's the fucking crap? Put more stuff into it. <laughs> That's how we do it. Again, not sure if, if it's if it's not, but I, I know Americans do a lot of low ingredient pizzas. That's 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 not that's not a thing here. Like here, four or five ingredient four ingredients minimum. I, I wouldn't like if I'm making my own pizza. I'm not I'm not putting less than four ingredients. Different ingredients, of course. Okay, one part cleaned. You made me hungry. <laughs> well, eat that, eat that pizza for me. I can't eat while I'm doing this. It would be cool though if I had a pizza right now, but I don't think it would be a good listening experience. Or a viewing experience, waiting for 10-15 uh, minutes while I eat pizza. Oh yeah, grease up those minis with your pizza fingers. <laughs> well, that's that's a mold release. It's probably tastier than what the uh, Fortable people use. Oh, the, the legs are all, already clean. This is also clean. Yeah, it's already clean. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Those that pa this this paper in the, in is just messing with my focus. I'm going to take it. Sorry, guys. I know I don't know if you want to see this or not, but this is messing with my focus pretty badly. So I'm just I'm just making this a bit of pain in the ass to watch. Yeah, let's continue. If you want to see the instructions, yeah, just, just let me know. I will put them back onto the screen, but just. Yes. I don't think anyone is taking this for a serious guide. I just want to build some models and why not turn the camera on and and have you guys along for the ride. People seem to like this. I did the same with the Curse City when I bought it. By the way, Curse City exists <laughs> again. Pretty shocking news. I wasn't I really wasn't expecting that. I know I'm not going to lie. And it's apparently coming with expansions, which uh, I'm really excited to see. It's going to be very, very cool.
yeah, we'll continue with expansions for it. Yeah, it seems like later this year uh, we'll have some expansions and I really hope they send me them. They send me those expansions so I can paint them in advance because it's things, I think it's going to be very cool. Uh, I hope. I mean, like, the normal minis were super cool and I think the expansions are going to be awesome. I just... The game itself, well, we tried it. It's not, it's not for us, uh, but I'm sure people will are are enjoying it. And even if it's just for the minis, the the game is well worth buying just for those. I don't know what the new price is. I, can anyone confirm if it's the same price as uh, it went when it came out, or it has uh, gone up? I have no idea about those things. It's something I like to use a little bit of the uh, extra thin glue to soften some mold lines. I get it on the top of the hair, it's just faster. Yeah. Same price. Oh, that's awesome. I was expecting the price rise. The, the price for the amount of minis you get was insane. Uh, I I actually bought it. No one sent me crap back back then, but I thought that just for the minis, the price was insane. So knowing that the price is the same, but everyone everything else has gone up, <laughs> it's pretty insane. So I'm, I'm guessing they want something. They want to make it like an entry kind of game with out of expansions, kind of Blackstone Fortress, which makes all of the sense. So having a low price entry game makes 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 sense, especially if it's very good value. But I think that's probably the best value box right now. Maybe when the normal release later this year, the price will maybe higher. We'll have to see. Yeah, we will see indeed. It would be cool if the price is the same. It will, that will hundred percent make it the most, uh, the best value box GW makes, which makes it attractive and more people will buy it, and they will want to know how to paint the minis and they will come to my videos. <laughs> Hopefully, that seems like a good logic. By the way, have you seen uh, Richard Gray's version of this mini? It's pretty, pretty epic. Of the gem gemstone lady, super cool. He said he was he wanted to have this for the community post, like the the article, but he he was sick and he couldn't get it in time, which is sad. Seems like he's better now, so that's awesome. I wish I was better with OBS and, and all that kind of crap, and I could show you all the things that I'm that I'm, that I'm talking about. But I am a mess, and I don't have time to learn. I don't stream that much. I think I'm going to glue the hand now because I had a bad experience with the uh, with the bird. So I think I'm going to glue this now, leave it to dry, and then you know put it onto the body i think that is a very good strategy than what i was doing and uh, let's clean the other arm will you make tutorials for the heroes yeah i will i will keep making videos i've i've done with i've done all all of all of the minions are now completed they're just the heroes and the bodies to paint uh, the the bodies are more are just fun because I just love painting undead. <laughs> I just found out with the series that I love painting undead, so I would probably start with a body. The thing is, most of them can be done with other videos. For example, the watch, uh, the hug, hugging cam. It's just the same video. 
as the um, as the orphan watch so I'm probably not going to paint him but I I got an idea someone suggested me doing a video on the banner of the orphan watch so I think I'm going to paint the banner just the banner uh, with contrast paint just because I think it's a very cool little fast video that I can probably finish uh, like record in one afternoon and edit in another afternoon and just you know pump out content and I think it's a very cool useful video but I doubt I will paint Hargrim just because it's just another skeleton it's just the same same color same everything um, I'm not sure I will paint the grave uh, guy just because again he's you can probably just take the zombie video and just do it, but I may paint him and just because he is very that's such a cool model. And uh, and yeah, that's my thought process at least on those people. Um, but I will paint for sure the the big body. That makes a lot of sense to me. It would it would feel like. like the the series is not completed if i don't paint the main bad guy and i will paint for sure the the heroes because they are all different and it seems like a cool project oh that seems solid now awesome it worked uh would you paint the corsairs with contrast or regular paints contrast paints it will be part of the uh, heavy contrast series Again, a uh, box box art color scheme, of course, as I always do. Okay. I kind of like that the arm uh, interlocks with the hair. That way, I can I can glue it more securely. We'll add a drop of glue right there where the hair meets the arm that's a cool model actually i really like it yeah just some selling lady cool model okay is this now dry can i glue the bird onto his hand i'm going to try to use thin super glue just to see if that fares a bit better Yeah, better. It dries faster. And I can add some glue there on that side. There you go. I should be secure enough. Also very cool. Very cool guy. The only problem I have is this seems like a pain in the ass to a film with that bird floating around. Yeah, probably not. I'm probably not going to paint him for the channel. <laughs> What a pain in the ass to paint that that is going to be. Um, Arian, uh, are you building to play Kill Team or just uh, whatever looks good? Just whatever looks cool. I have I I I, I don't play any games workshop games. Sorry, games workshop. Please don't don't stop me sending me stuff. <laughs> I don't like them. I am just building whatever it's 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 cool. Basically, just the the most characterful uh, minis from the box from the uh, example kill team that they make for the studio to paint so that you know selling lady the uh ninja lady and the birdie guy you know that kind of stuff i will also build the leader one the only issue with the leader is i can't use the leader arm but that's not a big deal this this they don't have like sockets they just have flat sides so i can glue whatever arm i want and as i don't play i don't need to make sure it's like rules you know what you see is what you get kind of deal i don't i don't care about that just want to paint something cool yeah, the main idea was to paint bird guy for the channel, but <laughs> it 
Yeah, that's going to be a pain in the ass, so I'm probably not, not going to do that. I don't know who suggested it, but sorry, that, that doesn't seem like something I want to do. Okay, let's glue the sword here, seems like it goes... That bird model looks like it's he's 100%. He will 100% break if you try to transport him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, that's that's a break. That that this is this is probably going to break at some point. He's super cool, but also focusing on this, like trying to get focus onto the camera. Uh, this this camera don't have a lot of depth of field, so trying to get in focus is, is just moving the, the model around changes so much it's going to be a pain in the ass or the the bird got in the way when i'm painting the face or so with the for the with the camera angle it's going to be a mess so i'm going to try to choose a model that it's as 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 easy as possible i'm going to build another one uh and i think we're going to leave it there let's look in miniatures uh been been waiting for literally 27 years for another overwork in plastic but how to store and transport all these fiddly bits yeah <laughs> this is not easy come on channel too awesome work thank you for watching hopla hopla hop thank you for watching and uh, thank you bernard Twell, uh, yeah your curiosity content has been a huge inspiration and motivation to pick up my brushes again and now i'm just back in the hobby and he's saying he's a big fan in spanish gracias Okay, I think I think I'm going to build. I don't know. Let's let's just let's just let's just hop around here and see what we have, what options we we have in the pictures. So we've built this guy. We've built this. Oh, you can't see that. We've built this guy. We've built this guy. We've built the bird guy. We have this. These guys here, very generic guys with big weapons and so on. We have the the uh, psychic guy. That's a cool model to build. And we have the leader, which is also a pretty cool model to build. So not many really cool options left. We have Oh that's for him. Okay. He I was wondering all the time because I've been looking at this spruce a lot what this arm was for. And it's just this guy here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to build the, the psychic guy. This guy here. So that is um Yeah, that seems like a cool model to build. Um, that's not the sprue with the legs. Can you build a chaos guy? It's just the normal chaos marines. Uh, I I don't have the spruce here. Sorry, I, I don't get the models liver here, and I and I store them on, on the other side. It's just they are normal chaos space marines. just have some some bits and I again I don't have neither the the extra bits nor the uh, nor the chaos marine spruce here sorry I have all the chaos space marines and all the terrain and uh, in other place so three and four I think we need yeah three and four right I think four is here too. Yeah, I remember seeing that. That's also awesome. I need one, have I not mistaken? Yeah, C1 and C2. C1. And C2. 
By the way, they have some cool capes because you have they have one a stitched flesh cape here. We have some like uh, lizard skin kind of uh, capes. They are pretty cool. They have a lot of priority there, as they should, because obviously they are corsairs. You have the psychic psychic head here. Perfect. I need the his arm, which is not in this screw. Can't see it here either. Might be in this one. can't find it either. Let's go around and check all the sprues again. Oh, there you go. You're right in the middle. Right in the center. Okay. That's it. Let's build this guy and then call it day. It's two hours. I think it's more than enough. And after a while, this is just more of the same. So I'm just going to build the cool models. <laughs> and then I'm going to go and grab something to eat. As I said, I will probably build them all and then just decide, but I think Gemstone Selling Lady or uh, maybe Ninja Guy, Ninja Girl or or the Psychic or the Leader uh, would be the best option for the uh, tutorial. I really want to paint Bird Guy, but that's a pain in the ass. I don't want to deal with on camera. It's 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 hard enough to paint on camera that I don't want to have to do that. Oh, hello bot. We have a, a spam bot. Johnny Fifo. Nice to see the visits from the spam bots. Oh, uh, by the way, when all this COVID madness ends, I would love to attend one of the private classes, please. Yes, I would be more than glad to do so. You don't have to wait for this COVID thing to end, by the way. If you want to come, I we we always take precautions and and, and stuff like that, like that. You can you can come any any time you want. We I've had two um, uh, two people already. One more coming soon. And I really, I really, really like it. It's one of the best, uh, uh, like, days ever. Each time someone comes here, it's just such a great day. Or a couple of days. We always paint, we always have fun, eat well. That's when you know you've made it, yeah? When the bots come, that's when you know you've made it, yeah? I mean, we don't have too many people. It's just 53 people here. It's not like one of the... It's not like massive stream uh, where, where with hundreds of people. Can you imagine if you, someone like Miniac did this? He would probably have 1,000 viewers. At the very least, well deserved, by the way. Very nice guy. It's, it was such a pleasure to deal with him um, for the sponsorship. He sponsored. Uh, he he runs sponsorship for his kicks, for his Kickstarter on uh, here, and it was it was I think it's a Drossard video, and it was 
it was such a joy to deal with him. It really shows that he is a content creator and he knows how much of a pain in the ass dealing with the sponsors can be. So he made the whole process just, just amazing. Amazing, really. And again, sweetest guy you will ever meet. Communicative, he was thankful. He was un uh, understanding. He never tried to hassle uh, money when he just asked, "What's your what's your sponsorship price?" I said, "This is." I said, and he said, "Okay, perfect. Let's just let's just do it." It was as easy as that. He paid super quick. It was awesome. And I think his Kickstarter is doing absolutely amazingly. I will contact you as soon as I have time. Awesome. Yes, yeah, send me an email. Uh, Arach. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, send me an email. Coming from Barcelona. Awesome. I had one guy from uh, Madrid and I have one guy from Germany, which came all the way from, from, from Germany and it's probably coming again in, in the summer. And the guy from Madrid is probably also coming again. It's like... That, that's, that's, that's the biggest compliment I can get, is when people return, because it really means a lot to me. Because someone can, can come once and then just can go home and think, well, that wasn't worth the money. But if they want to come back, it really means that they, have, they are happy with what you provided. Justin Deliveris, thank you for your videos. Your content has helped me wrap my head around some concepts and techniques I've traveled with. I've 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 struggled with. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes uh, English gets wrapped into my tongue and it's hard to to get the words out. Uh, I'm thank you for that. It really means a lot. I try to make my videos as easy to follow. I try to explain everything as simple as possible make every uh, paint recipe as simple as possible so anyone can follow it precisely. I, I always, I mean, other people choose a different route, which is also perfectly valid, but I want to make my, my videos very, very easy to replicate. And I'm happy with what I put out. That's the only thing I'm going to say. I always try to make each video a little bit better than the previous one, both in content, in painting level. Uh, if you if you've if you watch my videos from the very beginning, uh, maybe some of you the white scar video would have been the first one, and you see that, and you see the the dresser video for example, and you will clearly notice a massive improvement both in in gear. I bought a new camera, I bought a new mic. Um, but also in the level of the of the paint job itself, in the editing as well, uh, better editing, and so on. I've, I've made a, a a a change in my editing style for the latest videos, and I'm really happy with it. I think it's better. It takes more work, as, as as with everything, but I think the end result is well worth that little bit extra effort. Did I clip this well? Oh yeah, huh, that's a weird one. Yeah, you you have I have been gluing everything the like the two legs together for the whole time, and now I have to glue the head the legs onto the uh, torso first, and instead of together, it's a change a weird change. And I'm sure there is a reason for this. There is there is always a reason for doing this 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 kind of stuff. We just usually don't understand it. 
it has to do with molds and stuff like that. It's very, very complicated to do um, plastic molds with this kind of detail. So, there you go. Love these, need these. Yeah, these are pretty awesome. The box is also thick. Let me just grab the box so you can see how thick the box is. I don't, I don't know if you can see how thick this box is. It's, 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 it's way thicker than I have. This is a thick box. It's full of stuff. It's pretty nice. Yeah, the it's true that the, the, the terrain is just recycled terrain. I get some people dislike that, but honestly, I don't really mind that much. I also don't know what to do with the terrain. <laughs> I don't. Th I'm pretty sure I can't sell it or anything like that, just because it was given to me, and I. Th I'm pretty sure there is some some something about that in in the in the end in the contract that I can't flip the the stuff that they send me. Obviously, so I would either build it and use it for that zone maybe donate it to my local shop so they can use it for for their games that would be also a good idea but yeah personally i, I have no interest in it Is it the box bigger than Curse City? Yeah, it's 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 quite bigger. Uh, let me just do one thing. I'm going to measure the girth of both boxes with my um, with a ruler, and I will tell you how much. It So the Curse City box is seven centimeters uh, thick, and the um, Kill Team box is twelve centimeters thick. So that's five extra centimeters of plastic you are, you are getting there. It's it's, it's it's a pretty tasty box. It's 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 just thick. I was I was really surprised when I when I when I got it how thick it was, and how heavy it was. Super heavy. Comes with a with a with a play mat and everything like cardboard, hard cardboard uh, mat. It was, I think, it's pretty, 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 pretty good box. Basically, has everything that you need to play the game, which is awesome. Greetings from the Netherlands. I love the Netherlands. Keep up the amazing work content. Thank you very much, uh, Rodarius. Just not painting recently for edge highlight. What kind of paint is optimal? Whatever paint you need to do for that highlight, uh, the paint is just paint. Just don't use contrast paints to edge highlight, and you will be fine. Just normal paint. If you if you want a, a better answer, just try to formulate that question uh, differently. Because I, I I don't get what you're asking. Oh, 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 like in, 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 in how thin you want it. Sorry, I, I missed the second bit. You want paint that flows off your brush well, but it's not super thin because you want to, for it to be seen. And usually I have to do a couple of passes with the, with the edge highlighting. So just, you know, there is not just one layer and go. You will probably have to do a couple of layers just to get to the full color. I really love this kind of things that they can do now, like open fingers. That was unthinkable uh, when I started. It was, this is this is like, like, like magic to me. When I see a hand like this, it's pure magic. Like, oh, so good, so good. you didn't get any open hands and if you did they were so bad that you you wish that you didn't get them <laughs> well, 
That's pretty cool, me. Looked about the same size as the Octarius box. I haven't, I haven't got them, so probably yeah. Being that that is also Kill Team, uh, or is, is it Kill Team Octarius, or is the the Elder thing, the Elder plus Chaos Marines thing? There were also Chaos Marines there, or was it? Or, I don't, yeah, it was. It was. It has the, it had the the possessed or whatever they were called, the new plastic uh, models for the Chaos Marines. I will probably try to do a video about edge highlighting um, and heavy metal style edge highlights uh, at some point, just because I think it's something that uh, is very useful. And I I really enjoyed making the the paint dilution video and on all all the other techniques uh, videos. So I think adding to those is going to be fun, and I can make fun thumbnails on them on fun titles because I want to do all the clickbait for them or the click fake uh, satire click or parody clickbait videos with those there you go we have a psychic dude The molding on this is not the best. I think it has a little shift on the mold. You can see it here and then let me see if I can show it to you. Can you see there is a slight shift in the mold? It's not aligned perfectly. Yeah, that's a bit of pain in the ass. But well shit happens. I will clean, I will probably, I'm going to glue this and then clean this off in my workshop properly. This is a pain in the ass to do with these tools. I have better tools at my workshop. So I will end up cleaning, cleaning this back then. I'm just going to clean the main arm and so on and then move on. And I think we are done here. Look at that. As I said, this has been the last model. The rest is just the same. I build like the most characterful minis. The rest is just the normal grants. Um, with weapons and the leader, of course. Which I really like, by the way. It's a cool, it's a cool model. There you go. This. Oh, you can't see it. There you go, this model. I will probably build this to uh and probably use this for the for the tutorial just because it has a little bit of everything. And I like the head, it looks like Rufio. From the Peter Pan uh movie. 
<laughs> so that's that's also cool. So maybe I should I should I should just paint a roofy or corsair. You man, hello, world of art. Glad to see you here. Okay, let's put this four awesome guys here. And again, thank you all that for being here. Thank you for uh, staying this couple hours with me. It's been a really good and fun time. And uh, I'm going to grab something to eat and I'm going to keep painting because I have a lot of mini to paint. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye.